We live in a state that celebrates life, do we not? As of today, $15 million has been distributed to pregnancy centers throughout Georgia. These funds have been used to purchase state-of-the-art equipment like ultrasound machines, but also to hire licensed medical staff that allow centers to become medically certified to meet the needs of women facing unplanned circumstances, um, but also to directly compete with abortion providers. Today, over two-thirds of our 88 pregnancy centers in Georgia are now medically certified because of this grant. Additionally, many of Georgia's pregnancy centers are now able to extend their services to families for up to the first three years of a child's life, three years after that child is born. We continue to work today to build strategic alliances with you, our grassroots, uh, with organizations and our legislators, some of whom you just heard, to grow a culture of life across Georgia. At 17 years old, I found out that I was pregnant my junior year of high school. At the time, my family was in shambles, quite frankly, and um, we had just recently lost our house. Um, and so, for all intents and purposes, I was homeless when I found out I was pregnant. And my high school counselors told me that, um, you know, it didn't really make sense for me to apply to go to college, that I had other responsibilities, and if I chose to keep my child, that I would not be able to attend college or accomplish, you know, whatever in life. Um, however, I was very blessed. My grandmother was a NICU nurse and all of my life she taught me the value of little bitty babies. I have four beautiful children now and I am the youngest female representative in that chamber. And thank you and thank you. And so one of the biggest things that I hope to do in my time here, God willing, as long as I'm here, is to fight for women and their children in every capacity. I fundamentally believe that being pro-life just isn't just when a baby is in a mother's womb, but afterwards as well, and how we, how we educate women and how we you know, support them in their motherhood, because motherhood is the greatest gift I have ever been given. But no matter how old a woman is, and no matter what kind of resources they have or don't have, no one ever feels prepared to have a child. So this is the baby I had in high school.